Long ago, two races ruled over the earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebon, 20, 2008. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Hello everyone, my name is Xenos Forever and welcome to Undertale. Now, for the record, I actually tried to record this a couple of minutes ago, but for some reason the game froze on me, so I... I'm just gonna start from the... Alright, so I'm just gonna restart from the beginning with Xenos, uh... So I should just show up on, um... There we go, okay, so... <clears throat> so, uh... <laughs> Sorry, just, I'm not as impressed with the character as I was earlier, but it's just, um... I did watch Jack Jacksepticeye play through this a while back when he was still doing Undertale, but, um... Anyways, I have no idea what went wrong. I put it in full screen, it crashed at around 9 minutes recording, so it's not too much data lost, so... Hello, Flowey. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hehehe. <laughs> Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Like I said, I've been through it before, and the game plays that little joke that... Plays that little joke that if you go back and do other things, it starts to say, Wait, didn't we already do this? I know, we already did it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong to gain a lot of love. What's LV stand for? For love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Well, who doesn't? I mean, I don't have a girlfriend. My parents... Oh, like I said, they, uh... Never mind, uh... Well, my sister... I know for certain my sister hates my guts. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, I'll be sharing through little white friendliness pellets. <laughs> Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. I'm just gonna take the hit. Because that is damage! Actually, Flowey, I'm not an idiot. I'm actually just, um... Oh, sorry, my back is a little sore. Anyways, I'm not an idiot. I'm just playing along with you just for now, okay? Sorry, just... Sorry to ruin your little fantasy, but I'm just playing along. I'm sorry. In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! It's even possible for... What? Huh. I was actually trying to die right there, wondering if you could actually get killed by Flowey there. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come in here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. I'm not sure if Toriel's voice is going to take a toll on me. I mean, I, I can't do female voices to save my life. Alright, so. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. I don't know why I said HP. I think I watched wait, Jacksepticeye play through this way too much. <laughs> Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in, this, in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door cues. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. 
Anyways, um, the trick to that puzzle, um, only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. You don't step. Oh, you don't step on that middle path. Make progress here, you will need to trick your several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Stay on the path. Press uh, Z to read signs. Alright, so, flip this switch. The writing just asks you to flip this switch. Uh, here we go. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work! <laughs> it's just a fun... It's just, they're just fun little gags around. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You need to be prepared to, for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. <sighs> Sorry, just... I may have been bitten by a horsefly without even knowing. No, no, I wouldn't have been bitten by a horsefly without knowing it. So just a little small sting on the inside of my arm, so... When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Solve for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Oh, please don't crash this time. i will be very pissed off if it does. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. There we go! Okay, so... I probably just do the fact that I'm recording in, on my laptop and playing Undertale at the same time. That's what happened last time, but... Anyways, we're heading into new ground, everyone! Well, well, new ground for me. I mean, I've never played Undertale before. As awesome as the game is, I, I've never played Undertale before. Just, I've been saving it for you guys. Ah, good. Very good. You are very good. On. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh! Frog it appeared! Frog it attacks you! Act? Frog it. Check. Frog it. Attack 4. Defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. A Toriel! Oh! Why'd you- Oh, you don't need to be that mean to him, Toriel. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Alright, so... Hey, Toriel! Hey, move! Come on, Toriel. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. So she's just gonna guide us through the puzzle. I mean... It's kind of obvious. You use the uh, path that's traced out in the other room to uh, make it to the spikes. Make it through the spikes. It's uh, not that hard to figure out. It's kind of a simple puzzle, but it's not that bad, I suppose. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. She's... she's not really, uh... I mean, if we got attacked by monsters, then I'd be a little worried, but... Um, come on. No monsters? Jeez, this is one hell of a long hallway. Hello. She's hiding behind the pillar! <laughs> it's like playing hide-and-seek with my uh, cousins Finn and Rebecca when they were over. They're the ones that were from across the pond. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Yeah, we know, Toriel. I kinda checked. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. It's no problem. I, I have the house myself, so... I can take care of myself, Toriel, for the most part. <laughs> Sorry, just, uh... Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. It's dangerous to go alone! <laughs> take this! <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone! Take this! <laughs> I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Alright, so... Uh, how do I open my inventory again? Uh, was it... Shift? Uh, no. Uh, control? Ah, there we are. So. Stats. 
Cedos, level 1. 20 hit, po hit points, uh, attack 0, defense 0, experience 0, next 10. Weapon, stick, armor, bandage, gold, 0. Alright, so what about... We have no items, but sell. I don't have a girlfriend, so I might as well be a shameless flirt, huh? Huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> how adorable I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. No, actually, I heard that there's an Easter egg if you, uh... I actually heard that there's an Easter egg if you call Toriel enough times, it, you actually find out what happens to her cell phone. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Say hello. This is Doriel. Oh, they want to say hello? Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> no, honestly, the Toriel doesn't really remind me much of my uh, of a mother. She kind of seems more like a grandmother figure to me. Just uh, I mean, she reminds me more of my grandmother than my own mother. Just I'm just gonna say that right now. Just. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose would that make you happy? To call me mother. Well then call me whatever you like. It's like Hey the frog! Toriel! Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Uh no. <laughs> there are a few puzzles ahead that I've not have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Hello? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If monster does not want to fight you anymore, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Oh, hello. It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Take a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Nah, it's okay. You decided not to take some. If you take too many, the bowl spills. That would be very nice. Thankfully, crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. And moving on. Battle! Whimsome! Alright, so act. Oh. Uh, no. No. How do I back? How do I go back? Uh... Uh, shift. Okay, okay. Mercy. Spare! <laughs> Show a little mercy, huh? This looks suspiciously like Sky Tower. Anyone played Pokemon Emerald? You know what I'm talking about. It's just, uh, Sky Tower after you, uh... Meet Rayquaid. After you, uh... Oh, Torio. Hello, this is Torio. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I really don't... I really never tried butterscotch, but I do like cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Jeez, what, Toriel? Hello, this is Toriel. You don't dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Alright, so. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Well, uh, the fourth one. Froggit! Okay! Act! Froggit! Compliment! Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. I made a frog blush! Oh, jeez! That was stupid of me. Merita! Froggit seems wanted to fight you! Woo! I'm getting way too into this, aren't I? Anyways, I'm probably... Anyways, I'm probably gonna keep these episodes longer because Undertale is a... Oh, jeez. Okay, um... And turn here. Oh, no! Walked right onto the grass. Okay. The puzzled hint is, please don't step on the leaves. So 
So you want to avoid... Okay, so it's... No! Eh, uh, not far enough over. Okay. Oh! A pair of Froggets hopped towards you! Okay. Froggit A. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Croak, croak. Hey, man. Okay, um... Oh, took a hit! Compliments. Go. Okay. Frog team are looking to fight me. Spare! Woo! I'm getting good at this. <laughs> no dunking for me. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Is it here? Ah! I almost had it. I was almost there. Another whimsome. One sec. Shift. Check. <laughs> well, that's. What if I console him? Halfway through your first word, Wimsum bursts into tears and runs away. Oh, poor Wimsum. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's always been bullied or something. Ah! So close! Oh, this is gonna kill my back though. Just um <clears throat> Playing Undertale like this is just gonna kill my back. Wimsome again. What happens if I terrorize? You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Wimsome freaks out. I can't handle this! He kind of reminds me of Krona from uh, Soul Eater. I mean, you know, uh, the uh, kid with the uh, black blood who says, I don't know how to deal with this. Alright, you know what? Let's leave Wimsome alone. Spare. Two gold. Made it through! Well, yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Alright, so. One. Froggit and Wimsome drew near. Froggit? Let's compliment Froggit. I'm sorry. Ribbit. Oh! Ah! Oh, jeez! Spare both of them. Okay, was it, uh, this rock? Alright. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Thank you. Hey! Hmm? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. In the Chile. Molds ball! Okay, act. Okay, how about we uh, imitate? You lie immobile with Molds ball. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Burp, 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 burp. Okay. Alright, Molds Mold ball burbles quietly. How about if I flirt with you? wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation! There are slime sounds. Oh, jeez. Ow! Alright. Spare! Hey! There's mouth in there. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its howl and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Alright, let's save it. Ow! Bloody Christ! Oh, my back is killing me. I'm gonna take some aspirin after this. Note to self, get a chair or move the bed, bed when you do this. Oh, Christ. 
All right, moving on then. Goodbye, little mouse. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> That's the block. <laughs> Are they going yet? This ghost just keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Moving with force? Nah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Naps to look, but I kinda need you to get out of the way. Ah! Damn it! Defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Jeez, I thought I, I thought Isaac was finding Vice was bad. Wishing he wasn't here. I know that feeling. Alright, um, cheer up. Give that book a patient smile. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. A little bit better. Let's flirt with him. I just weigh you down. Oh, that worked. Shoot him up. Knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. Don't cry, Naps the Block. It's just a joke. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I've heard of using tears as a weapon. I hear crying was a weapon, but that's just that's just ridiculous. All right, let's cheer him up again. He wants to show me something. Let me try. Dapper Brook. <laughs> I call it Dapper Brook. You like it? That is bloody awesome. I need to get myself a top hat, Dapper Brook. <laughs> cheer up. Oh, gee. I usually come to the room because there's nobody around, but today I met something nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. I'll see you later, Naps of Look. Oh, wait, is this way to the, uh... Oh, the Spider Bake Sale! Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, I only have 11 gold, so I don't think I'll be able to buy anything. All proceeds go to real spiders. Keep... Remember, guys, I don't like spiders, so... <laughs> Uh, leave seven gold in the web? I'm sorry, but no. Eighteen gold? I don't have that much money. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but... Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down into the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spider. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just... Ugh. No, 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 no. That is even more hope than the treasure mall. Rabbit, rabbit. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Rabbit, rabbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. What does the F4 stand for? Four frogs? File 4. And I tried using F4, but unfortunately, this stopped recording. And also Undertale crashed, so... <clears throat> I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Remember correctly, to the ah! My gosp crawled up close. Wait, no, no. Not my gosp. Mold small? Wait, and... Oh, jeez, my gosp. Talk! 
I don't care. Jeez, oh bloody friggin' Christ! What the hell? The text of it, it seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Legion! We are Legion! Okay, uh, just staying here seems to be fine. La la la, just be yourself. Me gospels have a care in the- Oh! Hiya! Me gosp! Oh, I get it now! He only- <laughs> Oh, I get it. Wait, there's... Oh, Toriel! Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I could have cleaned up. I wasn't expecting to have company so soon. There were probably a lot of things lying around here, here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Something you might just something you really like. You will want to leave some room in your pockets for that. Click. See, uh, there is a little Easter egg where there's a fourth frog hidden in one of the walls, I believe. Wait, is, oh, oh my god! That just raised- Oh my god, that was Flowey! Flowey was watching- Did you guys- Oh my god, Flowey was watching! Oh my bloody Christ! He was- He was right there! That son of a bitch is following me! Christ! Okay, uh, enough of my, uh, freak out, but I'm- um, <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, he's, uh- Vegetoid came out of the earth. Check. Vegetoid attack six, defense six. Seven times a monster, not mounted by the U.S. Fresh morning days. Whoa. Ah, jeez. Ah, bouncing veggies. Talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Jeez, God. Ah, ah, whoa. Uh, let's... I'm trying to do a full neutral, I'm trying to do a full pacifist route, but, uh, I honestly don't know what I have to do in order to keep him alive. I mean, if I, uh... Why do I complete breakfast? Oh, jeez. Ah, he's raining, he's raining veggies on me! Jeez, the kid, really, hold on a sec, um... I don't want to, I don't want to fail the, uh, pacifist route, so, uh... Vegetoid, okay, sorry, um... <laughs> um... Okay, uh, large carrot. I thought it was like a radish or something. <clears throat> okay, I need to use dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. So you have to look for the green item. There we go. Ow! Eventually cackle softly. Spare! And I have taken a lot of damage. Okay, so. Alright, so, um. Yeah. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely. How do you have noticed by now, you know, a monster wearing a yellow name when you can spare it? What do you think of that? It's very helpful, thank you. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Hang on a sec, um, I, I want to see where that last frog is. The back wall between the first two frogs. There's an ant-sized frog in a crack in the wall. <laughs> Hi, little froggy! Oh my god, Morden, is that you? <laughs> Sorry, just, Morden is, uh, Morden is, uh, the name of a... Looks drew near. Acts. Look. Uh... Check. Looks. Don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. Oh, Sorry, just Steam said I have a new item in my inventory. Please don't pick on me. Oh! Ah! Wanna be put- Ow! Jeez! Okay, uh, don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Ow! Jeez! Spare! Ow! Christ! 
you ate the monster candy, you recovered 10 hit points. Oh, jeez, that's just bad. There's just one switch. Okay, which one is it hiding under? Oh, watch out, that's a Vegetoid. Let's switch down here. Oh, nope. Hey, Napta Block. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Napsta Block. Alright, here's the switch. We got scrolled up close. Mmm, cha cha cha! Wait, sir. I have no idea how to do that little wave thing. Alright, so, hit the switch, and wait. That wasn't it, was it? Oh, I didn't hit the switch, did I? Oh. I'm really stupid. I know I say that a lot, but... There we go. Trap is down. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Dinner time! Honestly, I prefer cucumbers. Eat your greens. Ah, Mr. Green. Oh, oh, I have to... Oh, crap, I have to actually... I have to actually grab the green item? Okay. Oh, damn it. Potato! Yes, there we go. Jeez. I'm really bad at this. I take it back. I am bad at this. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation perspective. Switch. Press it. Nothing happened. Ah, oh, come on, Vegetoid. There it is. It's only one hit point, though, annoyingly, so... We don't really know what HP stands for, do we? Okay, so... If you can read this, press the blue switch. I saw a silver switch, so... I mean, I thought that that's... I thought the switch with itch here was silver. Press it. Yes. Clicking sound. Okay. You can read this. Press the red switch. You know, actually, uh... Funny thing is, Jacksepticeye had the hardest time with this area. He actually, uh... Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. Sorry, just, um... Because he couldn't figure out what switch he was supposed to press. It was kind of funny, really. This time I have to press the yellow switch, correct? Whatever, I'm called up blind, remember? I said that when I was in, when I was playing Skyrim, I... A pair of Vegetoids? Uh-oh! Dinner time. Uh, oh, I missed the green. Green third is got it. Okay. I don't like onions, though. Ow, crap. Mercy! I don't like onions. I mean, I, I'll cook with them, but... One sec, uh... Okay. There we go, dialing. Oh. Salutations, is that enough? Sorry, I just wanna... There's a little Easter egg that, uh... Or uh, if you, um... There's a little Easter egg where, uh, Toriel's cell phone, uh... 
I think, gets eaten by a... I have to, uh... <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, only if you wait in five- if you wait in the room for five minutes, so... What's down this way? Wait, hold on. Up this way is, uh, something special, isn't it? Nope, not this way yet. Not this way yet. That's the way to, uh... Hey, Froggit! Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. I'm all too intimidated to talk to her for a bit. Whoa. Is that the monster capital? Found the toy knife. Well, that would be useful if I was doing like a genocide route, but I'm doing the true pacifist, everyone. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Hey, Toriel! Um. Hi! How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? I did this to you. You'll get an apology. I should not have left you alone for so long. It's irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Looks like the cat's out of the bag on that one! Who puts cats in bags anyways? Cats hate bags! Shale grab them. Come on. Come, small one. Oh my god, I love the theme for the ruins. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives gives you determination. Thirty-five minutes already, huh? Not bad. Do you smell that? Oh, it's Toriel's house theme. Oh, sorry. Just in a lot of um, in a lot of Undertale fan animations and um, and uh, fan dubs. I've well, not fan dubs, but you know what I mean, like comics that are dubbed. But um. They use this song. I've been trying to figure out what part of Undertale it's from. It's, it's friggin' Toriel's house theme. Oh, Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. <laughs> here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. It's so cute that Toriel just takes my hand. It's, it's almost like Grandma. Sorry. Move your own. I hope you like it. She's petting. She's rubbing my head. Something burning. Um, make yourself at home. Wait, this is, uh... Oh, this is Toriel's room. So let's not snoop around here. Room under renovations. It's you. I have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Maybe it's a water sausage? I don't know. It's, uh... It's my bedroom. Okay, I'm colorblind, but is this all pink? Is this gonna drive my head insane? Oh, time to sleep. I'm in my own bedroom again, so... Oh! Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Thank you, Toriel. Such a cute little game. I mean, I mean, it's obviously not a. Uh, already, I see. Um, I wanted you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I also prepared a curriculum for your education. Let's make us a surprise to you. But I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Sorry, Toriel, but when can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Uh, would you like to hear us? Book about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Why not? Here's an exciting snail fact. 
Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Really? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Oh, sorry to bother you, Toriel, but uh... What is it? I have to do something. Stay here. Uh, wait, is her... Is her mouth moving as she was talking? Toriel, wait up! She went downstairs, didn't she? Oh. Toriel? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? I had to slice the end of the ruins. When we exit to the rest of the underground, I'm going to destroy- WHAT?! No one will ever be able to leave again. I'll be a good child and go upstairs. Toriel, no, 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 I'm not letting you do that! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No one's told me to go to my room in a long time. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Toriel. Come on, Toriel, don't be like that! You want to leave so badly? Hm. <laughs> just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Very well then. Tutorial, attack 80 to fancy. Comes best for you. Oh, ow! Oh, damn! Tutorial is acting aloof. Tutorial, come on! Come on! Think, kid, think! Ow! Spare! Oh, okay. Uh. No. Ah, the flames bounce? <laughs> oh, jeez. Flames are raining. Fire rain! Ow! Damn. So we prepare magical attack. Toriel, I don't want to fight you! Ah, uh, damn it! Ah, Christ! What's through you? Hmm? Ah! Uh, no, no, ow! What are you doing? I don't want to fight you, Toriel. Come on! No, no, I don't want... No, no. Ah, shit. Spare. Attack or run away. No, I refuse to fight. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that there are other ways to survive in the underground. You said it yourself, show some mercy! Fight me or leave. I'm not fighting you and I'm not leaving, Toriel! Toriel takes a deep breath. Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. I'm not fighting you, Toriel. I refuse to fight. Toriel looks through you. Go away! Look at her. She doesn't want to fight me. She's doing this to keep me here. She looks through me. Look at her. She's sad. She looks like she's about to cry. Toriel, stop it! You don't have to fight me! You want to go home, but please go upstairs now. Toriel, I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Toriel, why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. I feel like I'm about- I feel like I'm about to cry! <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. 
For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Toriel. I want to give her a hug right now. Just, just take my, just wrap my arms around her. Just squeeze as hard as like, just squeeze her heart. Give her a nice bear hug. Like I used to give to my Nana. Goodbye, my child. Oh, so apparently Toriel's a goat. I, I always thought that she was a cow. I always thought that she was a cow. Just, I mean, when people refer to her as goat, I was like, wait, is she a goat? I mean, just the way she looks, I thought she was a cow is all. Oh, wait, right up. There's actually an Easter egg I want to show you guys real quick before I leave the ruins. Sorry, um, like I said, I felt like I was going to cry with that. It just... This game really gets emotional. I actually, re I actually read somewhere that if you go back to the start, Toriel is there. She's waiting for you. Well, not really waiting for you, but she's just waiting for another child to fall. Anyways, I'm probably just gonna cut the trip back out. Just uh, all right, everyone, we're back. Okay, so oh, I don't, I really don't need to know the time. Just there she is, Toriel. Golden flowers. They must have broken your fall. Do not worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Come on. Aren't you gonna say anything else, Toriel? <sighs> Alright guys, I'm gonna cut again. I'm just gonna get us back to the ruins. Well, the end of the ruins. Ow, my back. Ugh, I have one last thing I want to try to record before the end of the night, so uh, I'm not gonna be playing my PS3 though. I'm just, uh, I mean, I played an episode, I, I recorded an episode of Mass Effect for you guys, so, uh, well, I have a bit of raging at that, so that might be why my throat's a little sore. Anyways, um, Cutting starts as soon as I, uh, as soon as I get past this. Like I said, it just, uh, spikes only go down when you're on the right path, really, so. Alright, cutting starts now. Alright guys, we're back in Toriel's house. And my back is going to kill me later. Ugh. Tomorrow my back is going to kill me. Hopefully I don't get a call from the temp agency. <clears throat> Alright, everyone. Through these doors. The rest of the underground. Once more into the breach. I was just wondering if he showed up again. I know I was freaking out earlier about Flowey showing up, but, uh... Flowey. That's why you didn't show up. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So were you able to play by your so you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. What will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. That is horrifying! That is bloody horrifying! drop oh man undertale by toby fox and 
I'm just gonna say this right now. This game is phenomenal. Um, I I didn't know anything about Undertale when I voted when e when the uh, last. Um... Oh jeez, sorry, my arm is bothering me. Just anyway, probably from just uh. Anyways, um, when they were doing the uh, Gamers Choice Awards last year, I actually voted for the Wild. I actually voted for The Witcher Three Wild Hunt. Toby Fox, if you watch this, I'm sorry. I knew nothing about Undertale. I would have had to flip a coin between you and The Witcher 3. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyways, uh... Huh? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Alright, so there's one last character... Well, two last characters I want to meet before I, uh... Before I, uh... Oh. Well, okay, uh, this is a little... <laughs> Who's there? Is someone there? I know I shouldn't be shouting, but I have the house myself, so it doesn't really damn matter. Might scare Sonny, but... Oh, the music's really creepy. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Um, okay. You'll go because of the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. And my brother, Iris, is a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro, my mo, my bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, iron that conveniently shaped lamp. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Papyrus. What's <laughs> up, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition? I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend? I'm a bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Huh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you're not helping! You lazy bones! All you do is sit in bone doggle! I've gotta look that word up. You get laser and laser every day! Hey, make it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Uh, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, it seems like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone! <laughs> ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to copy Jack's up guy with his <laughs> Oh what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, it's only like the wicked witch of the West. <laughs> Hell, Sam, did you just try to wrap me up? <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Did you just try to wrap me up to your brother? 
We gotta get going. He might come back. And if he does, we'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Hey, I'm fine with that, Sans! I am perfectly fine with that! What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just a dark cabin filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Sounds like my kind of day! Well, we gotta get going. He might come back. If he does. Okay, so it's just this, so he just loops around. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relishes sitting inside. <laughs> Actually, hey. Hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. <laughs> Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. See, the thing is, Sans can actually teleport. Um, it can mean so that lamp's still fizzy with determination. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. So, thank you all so much for watching, and please, please, let me keep doing this. This game is awesome. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button down below. It very much helps. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Until then, live long and prosper. I'm gonna be damn cheap. Stay determined, folks.